hired Schnellenberger came in my second year uh, through the next four years and, and put in the uh, Miami Dolphins system in, in the collegiate game. And so I learned a lot about uh, the NFL drop back passing game. And so I think part of it was the fact that I knew what Miami did because Miami Florida State was a huge rival. So Coach Bowden was looking for a young guy to help him coach the quarterbacks as a graduate assistant. So my first day on the job, he says, uh, hey, buddy, you, uh, you got that Miami playbook? <laughs> Do you have it? No, I don't. I said, I said, Coach, I said, I don't have it. They don't let us keep those things. You could tell he was disappointed. I thought he was. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, I thought I was dead gummit. I, I thought I was going to get fired on the spot. And, uh, but I thought quick on my feet. I said, Coach, I got it all right here. <laughs> and uh, thankfully, I remembered enough to help me uh, get by. And, and uh, what did, what did, the first of all, tonight, obviously, we're all here for a way bigger purpose than ourselves. And guys, they could go home if they wanted to or stay in town, do what you want. But on Sunday, after the open day, get back in town, we'll have a team meeting and we'll get ready for the next week and get ready for getting, getting back to school and all that. Well, some guys left town, some guys stayed in town and a lot of the guys that stayed in town went to an uh, on-campus party. Somebody pulls the fire alarm, everybody in the party goes out in the parking lot. While, while out in the parking lot, a young man by the name of Pablo Lopez, a big six foot five, 285 pounds, basically just said, man, I don't know where Pablo is today. I don't know where he'll spend eternity. I don't know where he was in his faith. He said, well, there's a God in heaven who loves us, who wants us to spend eternity with him in heaven. But the problem is we gotta be perfect you know, to go to heaven, the standard's perfection. Well, we can't be perfect. And, uh, but he said, God knew that. So he sent his son, Jesus, to take on the sin if we just ask him to. And so basically he, he said, he looked at, we had a signed seating in the room and Pablo's chair is em empty. He said, Pablo used to sit in that chair right there, man. He goes, you're 18 to 22 years old. You think you're gonna live forever, just like Pablo thought he was gonna live forever. If that was you last night instead of Pablo, do you know you'd spend eternity? Well, he's talking to the players, but you know, the Holy Spirit, you know, shot me with an arrow uh, basically in my heart at that time. And some seeds that were planted by a teammate in college came to fruition that day. And I was dating my now wife, Catherine at the time. And I said, I gotta see Coach Bowden because he invited the players to come see him if they had a question. So the next day I knock on the door he goes, come on in, buddy. He calls you buddy when you forget your name. <laughs> anyway, I said, coach, I know you're talking to the players, but um, do you mind if this young coach comes in and sees you about what you're talking about? He said, he said, yes. So long story short, I prayed to receive Christ in his office and uh, everything changed for me. You know, the.